What is going on you guys? It's your boy Miguel here with Booster Red Line. Thank you so much for joining us in today's video. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button you guys. Make sure to hit the bell icon and make sure to smash that thumbs up. Now, today's video is going to be very exciting because before we get the truck lifted, today is the Sunday before I take the truck to the shop to get it lifted. I don't want to give out too many details because that would be an awesome reveal that you guys do not want to miss. Uh, now I want to do something very productive with today, it being a Sunday and all, so uh, the front headlights have been very foggy for a long time, they look all nasty and yellowish and all that, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to see if I could bring them back to life, if I could do a revival and bring these lights back to life and see what a difference it would make. Now I have considered getting some aftermarket lights, and as a matter of fact I may be doing that in the future. However, for now, I really wanted to have these uh, all clear and nice looking and whatnot to see, have that go along with the lift and uh, you know, that's really one of the things that really needs some work. So I'll be doing that today, showing you guys exactly what I'll be using and uh, show you guys the final part, okay? So with that being said, stick around, let's jump right into it. Tools we'll be using today, of course, uh, guys, you can find plenty of different kits online for a lens. Uh, headlight repair or restoration. I happen to go with this one from Pittsburgh uh, Deluxe Lens Renewal System. Now I'll, I'll, I'll throw a few links in the description for you guys um, to some similar products or this one and, and a few others but what's included here is you have the um, actual uh, tape to cover the paint in the surrounding areas. You have the cream that's going to be doing the magic there. You've got the drill bit piece right here, which is going to be the one doing the contact. It looks like we may be doing some sanding and then some buffing with the softer um, uh, foam here later on. Uh, the other thing, of course, is going to be an electric uh, drill. I don't recommend a battery one because it may run out of battery on you, and uh, you definitely want to be able to be plugged into the current electricity so that you. You, uh, don't run out of juice and uh, if you're working outside like me make sure you get yourself a pair of shades to uh, protect your vision and uh, that should be all you need so here's an example of another product I've used in the past this one is for the uh, from the mother's brand uh, new lens is the name of it and uh, this one's actually for uh, headlights and tail lights and I've used this one in the past too and also uh, you know, same results, same product, same purpose. Again, goes to show that if you're working with a reputable brand, then you should be fine. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and open this up and uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started here. The first thing we'll be doing is we'll be wrapping up the tape around the headlight to make sure we get some protection for current paint. Before we put on the tape, you guys, we are going to make sure that we wash the headlight pretty thoroughly according to the instructions you want to make sure you use some soap water just clean the whole lens uh, of your headlight then go ahead and wrap up the area around to make sure you're offering some um, protection to your paint guys something like this this is the idea here so you just want to make sure that you wrap around the areas um, where your um, headlight housing is and uh, I mean if you may get occasion a little bit carried away so I ended up putting tape here right Check out this portion of tape that I put on there. So clearly there is no headlight nearby until like two inches later. So uh, yeah, you may have a little bit of fun and realize that you may tape some areas that really don't need tape anyway. Yes, according to the instructions, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to attach the uh, disc pad holder. You know, it's like Velcro. So this is like the rough side that will be sticking to all the other uh, pads here that we have uh, to sand with. So your kit may be slightly different depending on what brand manufacturer you went with for your lens restoration. This one comes with a 500 Brit abrasive disc. All right, so it's like a slight sanding paper here. So I'm just gonna put some pressure on it, make sure it's ready. All right. Now this first portion does not mention anything in regards to uh, adding the paste just yet. This is gonna be some light sanding first to begin with. Thank you. 
I started with the P500 um, sandpaper here and I'm switching over to a P800 per the instruction. P800, so this is probably a little thinner of a sanding paper. Let's go ahead and give this one a try. Here we go. All right, so you guys can see a little bit of you know, it being um, quite brighter uh, already, so the lens is more, it's clearer than before and not quite as yellowish. I'm sure that the next step will make a huge difference. Now, other things to look forward to, guys, if you do one area too much, you may end up with things like these, all right, where I guess the plastic kind of melts into the plastic in a way. Now, I also notice um, here in detail that my headlights are full of scratches left and right. Um, and you know, this may not be the look I want for the long run, but I wanted to at least, you know, give them a chance as far as restoring them before I order some new ones. So um, definitely wanted to see what that would look like. At times you may even have to open up the uh, hood so that you can get in some of the areas on top of the headlight that are usually uh, hard to get to especially if your headlight has like plastic, you know design sticking out like that Okay, these are gonna be very uh, Difficult to work around. So um, yeah Just get creative with it so after you're done all the sanding what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna just go ahead and rinse it off with some uh, some clean water just like this Make sure all that dust is uh, behind so now that we have sanded it and uh, rinsed it off, we are ready to apply the polishing cream and see what difference it will make. I am now going to apply my foam polishing pad, just like you see here, okay? And uh, that should go on, actually, throw this guy, okay? And then, bam, should be able to have it on, just like that. All right, so polishing compound, I mean, this is good for probably uh, restoring one set of headlights. Not a lot in here, but um, let's see uh, how effective it is. This stuff has uh, uh, alumina, whatever that is, water, of course, solvent, naphtha, no idea, brining agent, hmm, that's interesting. Uh, what about some mineral oil, oleic acid, and glycerol? Interesting, right? And before I start spinning, you guys, I'm just going to get it, you know, get it in there like that okay and go ahead and just spread it out evenly just spread it okay because you don't want this to be splashing all over the place I'm gonna start a little softer here a little soft. I'll pour a little bit more here. This is about halfway done already, if not completely done. I've only done one headlight, so it's not like there's a lot on here. I gotta do magic with what we have. Coffee break! Okay. Wow, how nice. Mm, thank you. Much needed coffee. <laughs> we able to have some energy to finish this project. Oh my gosh, babe. You stepped on it. Yeah. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I didn't step on it and I put it down. No, it, you, you stepped on here and it splashed out here. Babe, you stepped here and it splashed out that way. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Guilty. I'm sorry. Oh, she brought me coffee anyway, so I can't complain. It was the Crocs. Oh, it was the Crocs? Okay. <laughs> So guys, very nice. My wife brought me some coffee, but she also ended up stepping on the polishing compound. And so we lost some significant amount of compound here. So hopefully we'll be able to finish the project on the other side. But guys, take a look at that. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that, guys? Look at this. Hey, would you look at that? Well, would you look at that? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> went over, went over it. This was like so yellow before we even started and I haven't even rinsed off the compound yet. Kind of, you know, got wiped away a little bit by just the, you know, um, the padded stuff. But look at the difference, okay? 
check it out look at this side okay this is what we started with okay and now we're on to this okay so it definitely makes it makes quite a bit of a difference okay it definitely does now I'll tell you this guys I'll be honest with you okay so you can clearly tell that it will do a significant difference now you know let's be real okay if your lens has scratches and it has things like these which are more deep and you know penetrated and whatnot into the plastic itself I mean just running my finger through this I mean this looks like the baby's bottom right now that's the way it feels but some of these things are gonna be there for the long run and they're really hard to remove so you know for the ultimate 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 look you definitely want to go after market or buy another set of OEM headlights but for what we have for a $14.99 kit that we have I mean the difference is huge right do you agree with me let me know in the comments below now truthfully I probably end up replacing these you know in the near future with some aftermarket ones but again as far as this project I really honestly believe I was gonna be an epic fail the whole thing was gonna you know backfire on me and I was really gonna screw this up but <laughs> I mean like it came out really good I mean I'm really satisfied with the way everything came out let's go ahead and work on the other side and uh, let's see if we can make this side shine as much as we did on the this side Check out the difference here on the driver's side. If you can look at the top and the bottom, just, just kind of give you some reference there. This came out looking really, really good. Again, I do have the issue of some scratches on the lens that have been there for years. I mean, these are probably the stuck housings since OEM in, you know, 2002, back when the truck rolled out the production line. So I will probably end up replacing these, but again, you know, even for the condition that they're in, I mean they came out looking really really good okay let me show you here on this side too all right so I was like you know what you know what the heck let me just give it a try so I ended up doing the bottom piece there okay just for the heck of it I didn't I didn't do the sanding on this one because this one is an aftermarket one and it did not require the sanding it is in very mint condition so all I did was the um, polishing uh, compound on this one and it looks really really good I'm actually gonna take off the tape on here and show you guys what this side looks like finally here's a quick look here's a quick look at the finished product these look amazing I'm telling you the camera doesn't even do any type of um, justice to this and how great they came out looking so once I put the hood down and once I finish this side here I'll show you guys exactly what the whole truck looks like and even look at the difference even just touching up the ones at the bottom look how yellow that one looks and look how much clearer that one looks so I mean, you can certainly tell it was totally worth it for $14.99. I mean, that is definitely worth a whole Sunday project right here. And I can't believe I didn't do this a lot earlier, but the truck is gonna look very nice once it gets lifted and it will not have any yellow lights to you know worry about for this final one down here i'm really squeezing this polishing compound <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm really squeezing it like a tube of toothpaste and uh really trying to get every single square of compound out of this thing now, i'm sure these were made for a regular car headlight where it's just a one piece right it doesn't include an additional um uh, housing or additional plastic so if it would have been just this surface i would have been fine now since i did decide to the heck with it let me do the bottom ones too then uh yeah i'm definitely um you know using every single bit of it of course you know <laughs> do plan for accidents where people will come by and step on it and then you lose some significant amount of compound too <laughs> come on give me all you got give me all you got there we go looks good enough once again take a good look at the finished product here 
this came out amazing you guys I, I honestly again I, I cannot begin to tell you at first I was like really doubtful that this was gonna come out this well and I was just like you know what let's just let's just do it what the heck you know probably not gonna make a difference but it certainly has made a difference it certainly looks a lot better and uh, even though my housings are all scratched and everything you you almost can't tell from a distance these look as almost if they came out the factory this way and they look absolutely clean so guys if you really like the way that these came out restored okay make sure to leave a comment below and like this video guys part of a future project will be to dive down and focus on the little bit of rust I got going on here in the hood now this again comes from the ugly piece of chrome that was on here before that I took out a couple days ago only to discover that it had cost the whole paint chip from the hood here and caused some uh, rusty spot at least in four different areas you know so uh, definitely something that I would need to tackle in the future but I mean you really can't tell unless you really zoom in but I mean I'm very picky and I like the attention to detail and so I would need be so I would be needing to do something about that check out how much sharper those LEDs look for the uh, running lights now that the housing is clean that looks way better than it looked before now let's try the headlights and the uh, high beams too now although these are nothing fancy right these are halogens which will be getting replaced soon uh, I mean there's a lot of light coming out the housing now because it's a lot clearer take a look you guys for yourself or the high beams for that matter there's a lot more light coming out from them than there was before. Before there was just a fog in between the two, you really couldn't tell, almost couldn't tell which light was which, but now it's nice, clear, and HD, high definition. Love the way these came up. I wanna give you guys an idea here at a different location. This is in front of the apartment where we live, uh, so there's a bit more light here since we're not under the trees and uh, you can see that they look very very clear now <laughs> for comparison purposes take a look at my wife g37 infinity here the headlights are as clean as can get because that car is uh, brand spanking new and as far as my truck they look brand spanking new as well even though these probably have since 2002 i mean these have almost 16 years on them 16 years you guys that's uh that's, that's been a minute for these and so in order for them to get restored in such a great shape that is not bad at all really hope you guys found it fascinating that we were really able to restore such ugly yellow looking nasty looking headlights and now they look absolutely bright and clear and clean if you haven't already go ahead and smash that subscribe button you guys i'll see you guys next time take care see you later have a wonderful day peace